The UK's most prolific child serial killer has just been sentenced to spend the rest of her life in prison. I'm sure we all have very strong opinions on this matter. My opinion is bring back the fucking death penalty and make her the first. What this story I'm about to share with you guys, if you don't know, is horrific. It's probably one of the worst. Well, it's the worst I've ever covered on this channel. It's probably one of the worst I've ever seen. Lucy Letby worked for what we call the NHS, the National Health Service. She was a nurse. The 33-year-old was convicted of murder. Not not just murder, murdering seven babies and attempting to kill six others. So if you're any good at maths, that's 13 people she tried to murder who were under the age of one month old, I presume. She injected babies with air, so oxygen into their their veins to try suffocate them or kill them. I don't know how that works. I'm not a brain. She force fed the milk and poisoned two infants with insulin. She didn't turn up to hear the hearing, which I think is a disgrace. They should have grabbed her by her hair and dragged her there, placed her in front of the court and forced her, embarrassed her, get her on the camera she's disgusting this pig and I, I seriously mean that bring back the death penalty people like this I know the death penalty is decisive or the, the, this that and the other I don't give a fuck spending the life in prison is only 30 years she will be out at 63 you know that's not good enough she did this between 2015 and 16 and it was truly truly one of the worst things I've ever read now we're, I, we've got a few videos I want to show alright guys just to let you know this is the police video of them showing up at her house arresting her and then taking her in for interrogation this was 2018 we're in 2023 so it's taken 5 years to get here what the fuck's gone taking so long but hey ho oh lucy is it yes hello my name's from cheshire please look at stefan two seconds oh uh, yes yeah thank you I mean, just look at her face. I've gone past it in typical fashion. Look at that. That is terror. She knows she's in the shit. She knows she's in trouble. She is going to spend the rest of her days to rot. Well, not even the rest. The last 30, the next 30 years she's going to spend in there, which is a fucking joke, but anyway. You can hear her breathing like a goddamn idiot. Breathing like Darth Vader because you know her life just fucking ended. Okay, just take a seat in there for me, Lucy. I'll move that seat forward a bit. Sure. Yeah, I just had knee surgery. So oh, right, okay. No one gives a fuck. Keep the chair there. In fact, put her in the boot. I say throw her in the boot. She doesn't even deserve to sit down. Put her in the boot and fucking keep her there. They told me that there would be a lot more deaths and that I've been linked to somebody that was there for a lot of them. Did you have any concerns that there was a rise in the mortality rate? Yes. Okay, so tell me about that. What concerns did you have? We don't just notice as a, as a team in general and this and staff that this was... As you can see from that video, she doesn't really seem to give a fuck. This woman here, 33 years old, looks like a Nazi who needs thicker eyebrows, but let's not take the piss. She was working as a neonatal nurse, which, again, I don't know what that means. Now, just imagine if you had a child and you're now finding out it was murdered because this woman injected it with poison or suffocated, did something horrible. And look, these are just some of the texts. I don't know how I was going to feel seeing parents. Dad was on the floor crying, saying, please don't take our baby away. Well, that's your fault. You killed him and made him take it away you know just so casual kisses like she doesn't give a fuck this is the psychopath level i watch this space in the next two three years there's going to be a documentary on netflix about her you already know the producers are clapping their hands together getting the money out of their golden bath because this shit is going to do well we lost baby d colleague what but she was improving what happened see i can't believe you're on again you're having such a tough time surely if you're killing people though like not to you know give her any help or tips or future advice but surely you go shit even the people i'm texting are on to me see more death who told you yeah i had them both was terrible yeah i bet you did you mong this is the most prolific baby killer in british history murdering seven and attempting to kill six more what you know I mean, what is wrong with you to do this for starters? You thought it was right to play God with our children's lives. I mean, just imagine you lose your kid. You may be getting over it a year later, whatever. Or, you know, at least getting better. And then you find out it was this fucking blonde bitch who was killing them. In the corridor, I could immediately hear crying. Well, it was, it, it felt more than crying. It was screaming. It was screaming. And I was like, what, what's the matter with them? I walked into the room, I seen it with my boy. He had blood round his mouth. And Lucy was there. So Lucy was there and they didn't do anything to start with. I mean, that's just horrendous. I mean, what about these these doctors who were around her? Read this as well. Fucking hell, this will make you feel so much better. 
Hospital bosses failed to investigate the allegations against Lucy, so people, colleague, silenced doctors and lead consultants in the neonatal unit where she was worked. So basically, they were sniffing around, they smelt something dodgy, they go, something's in the atmosphere here, and Lucy's always been around. Three survived and two died. The hospital manager demanded the doctors write an apology to Let Be, uh, told them that stop making allegations against her. So one of the lead consultants raised complaints in the hospital. The investigator failures raises questions and how the hospital responded to the death. Dr. Brewery demanded let be taken off duty in 2016 after the final two murders. So they said no. They asked to apologise. They were often uh, mediation with let be even though they suspected she was killing babies. When she finally moved, let be was signed with risk and patient safety officers. So basically, what that means... So basically, she was just reassigned. She was just moved to another group of people, which is incredible. It's like having a murderer. You know, you work at Pets at Home, which is a pet shop, all right? You know, selling animals. You suddenly notice this this guy's joined, Jeffrey Dahmer, but the cat killer. All right, he's in the cat division. All right, you. Oh, the cats keep dying. Oh, let's mo let's move them to the fish. And now fish keep disappearing. All right, let's send it to the geckos. Oh, the geckos keep going. It's just absurd. It's just crazy. Three babies died in the space of two weeks. All so she was on duty for all three deaths. Which you don't have to be Sherlock Holmes to work out the correspondence and the the things that are joining together here. But look, I I, I mean, I think that this comes down to a deeper issue with how poorly run you know these these units are and probably underfunded. But even so, to let a serial killer kill people not people well people but kids murder them it's disgusting and she got away with it people raised concerns and it was swept under the rug hidden away they used to call her nice lucy and i suppose what what do you think should happen to this girl i, I think the death penalty uh, is the only answer personally you have no right to take these children you know defenseless as well you know if you kill an adult at least they have a fighting chance obviously not lying in a bed if you inject them with something but to kill a kid baby m you know days months old you have got to be seriously fucked up to do that you have to be one of the worst human beings in this planet murder you know mass murderers target older people usually you know it might be older women it might be older men whatever it is but at least they go for the ones who have lived a little and i know that's a horrible thing to say but to go for the ones who are defenseless lying in bed it's disgusting oh you know, just to sum it up in an email um someone so one of the higher ups a manager associated it with let be and the deaths as unfortunate 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 is when you crash your car unfortunate is when you cross the lights without looking and get knocked off by a cyclist going at 22 miles per hour. Unfortunate is not a kid's death. Let me know what you guys think of this. I think this is it's seriously mind-blowing. And, and in the UK, I want to make it clear, 30 years is life, not life is life. 30 years is life. So she's going to be out by 63, possibly. I, I don't know, you know, if she maybe gets extended if she goes a bit cray-cray. But, well, what do you mean if she goes cray-cray? She is fucking nuts. Send her into an asylum. Let me go know what you guys think. Uh, drop uh, a comment. I want to know your, all your opinions on this stuff. I mean, oh, Look at this. People say we need to talk about uh, the tipping point. I mean, oh my God, look at this. Death. And who was working? Ugh. Senior doctors wanted to bring into the police. Staff were told to stop emailing about her. So they were sending internal. It's almost like you're internally cyberbullying someone who's not done anything wrong. What idiots you look now. I'm going to um, leave it there though. Lucy Letby, one of the nastiest people to ever grace this planet and this country. Get her gone. Throw her in a car boot. Drive her off a cliff and let's forget about her. Because we never need to see this bitch again. Thank you so much for your time. Let me know what you think.